Here comes the excavator to put my beds in. I'm so excited. of a burn pile that we had and that's just going to contribute to the soil's nutrients. When William puts the trenches in, he's going to kind of mix all that up and distribute it <coughs> throughout the, uh, the trenches when he fills it back in, I think. And uh, that's actually really good stuff. So ashes and things like that contribute to the nutrients in the garden. might just all be topsoil. That looks beautiful. All that ash from the burn pile yeah. that's going to be nice for the soil the dog chasing butterflies. Yep, there goes the first piece of wood in the trench. I cannot wait to put some nice plants in there. Look at that. Woo! Gorgeous.
another piece of wood. And another. I'm excited. Part of this is going to help us to get rid of some of these root balls and things that we have lying around the property. Yeah, they're going to decompose, and as they decompose, they'll release more nutrients into the soil and help the garden grow. You mean the ash there? Yeah. Yeah, that's some good stuff, too. That's great. Yeah. That's so nice. So nice. Let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, yeah. Mama like. Very, very nice. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So part of our firewood endeavors leave us with big chunks of root balls and stuff like that. So this is gonna be great because it gives us a spot to put all that. So William is gonna come work on that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna clean out the back of his pickup and get some of the other smaller pieces that I can handle in there. Looks like William has found a way to avoid tracking back and forth every single time. So he's kind of measuring out his distance and he's moving the whole pile. And that way he only has to track once. He's going around and moving it about 30 feet at a time, which is pretty good. Hardwoods are better 
And a note about black walnut, while it is a very hard wood, it's also a toxic wood. So you don't want to plant black walnut near your garden or orchard. Much respect to the people who put in this type of garden by hand. I mean, we could, but it would be a project that I don't think we have time for. You know, we both work, we raise our daughter, which of course you can combine with this type of stuff. We have family obligations. I just am super grateful that we have machines. It's a good start. Yeah, basically you take the wood up to the level of grade and then it turns into a mound. When we were cutting firewood this last year, um, we discovered that one of the lengths was totally rotten. So that's all right. It'll work perfectly in our hugel culture beds. So I am gonna load it up in here and ferry it over there and then dump it in that trench. Some of the beauty of rotted wood is that it's actually lighter weight than non-rotted wood. So I'm able to handle this just fine. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> At least that's what the smart aleck in me really wants to say. This is the part where we like gravity. I don't think you're getting out of work here. <laughs> I loaded it all. All hell, don't worry. Not supposed to do that yet. Got to pile it up with all the other stuff. Next up are the smaller sticks and branches, which fortunately we have no shortage of. We had a snowstorm come through a couple of years ago that busted a lot of our um, small trees and those are nothing but a fire hazard now. So again, another perk of this is cleaning up some of that. It's coming along. We're about up to grade level now. So here pretty soon we're gonna put our other layers down. One of the other layers is gonna be the soiled straw and goat poop from inside <laughs> the goat's barn. That is some hot stuff. So I'm glad we're burying it. You have to be careful with stuff like this because if you leave it go in a pile without, you know, dirt on top of it, it will actually get hot and dry enough eventually to ignite. And uh, that's especially true in our California summers. All right, here we go. She's gonna get filled in. I can always toss that out as I'm going. But by and large, that is really a beautiful thing and I am excited.
Mama's happy. Thank you.